this conversation, we will try our best not to turn into total panic and chaos here. We have with us Evan Salt and Paige Brubeck from, from Sleepy, Sleepy Kitty. Kitty. Our, Yay! Two of our favorite people here in St. Louis with so many questions. I always vote for you guys, by the way, for best band name and all that stuff. Oh, thank <laughs> you. And best music. In fa- in fa- now, you, asked, you just asked them before we started if they're married. The guys probably are so sick of hearing that question. We're actually not sick of hearing it, um, <laughs> but it takes a little while to answer. Uh, it's it's, it's complicated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We do so much together and we're so connected and we are partners, but yeah, yeah a lot of people assume we're married, but we're yeah. not. So I appreciate the question. Oh, okay. well, <laughs> you, your business partner's both in the band and don't you and, have and a graphics. printing company right. or what is mm-hmm. it? What's the printing company? What's the name of it? That's um, Sleepy Kitty Arts. Oh, okay. So All what, same name. You're, what you're was the first, the band or the other thing or both at the same time? Or the sex. I'm Basically, really <laughs> <laughs> all at the same time. Yeah. No, um, yeah, we started dating and just kind of, we were both in other bands and we're into our other bands, but we yeah. also just kind of couldn't stop talking about music and making art and we kind of just started doing that in all of our free time. Playing at the practice space is a good cheap date and so um, we kind of just kept making our own music and those as those previous bands, those other bands ended, Sleepy Kitty just got more and more serious. And, and that, that and was in Chicago, are. right? Yeah. Yeah, so you're, you're both from Chicago, although you grew up in Seattle. Well, we met in Chicago. Um, Paige is from across the river um, okay. in Millstock. Yeah. I'm from Millstock. Are you really? So oh, you both look like Millstock. Yes, right? yes. yes. <laughs> we are totally from Millstock. We should carpool. find out who we all know. Yeah. <laughs> you go to the That's fish fry That's amazing. I, I mean, yeah, Great I go to the fry. homecoming every year. Yeah. And the Nobody of knows anything about Millstock, but now it's like the hot place to be. Is it? Yeah. Ooh, I like that. Like that. <laughs> so, so what brought you to St. Louis? We were making uh, art, and we were making music, and we were living in a place in Chicago that was getting more expensive by the year. And then we started... <laughs> the whole city yeah. gets more expensive The whole by the city. Year. And it, I mean, it's a, it's a great city. Um, but we realized that we needed a lot more space to do what we were going to do. I was freelancing design. Paige had just gotten done with art school. So we kind of just started looking around the whole country to see what, uh, what our options were. And kind of, and then ran across a listing for a, a giant former brewery in St. Louis, and came down and checked it out. And uh, was that Lemp? No, it's down the street. It was called the Cherokee Brewery. Okay. It was. Yeah. It went out of business around 1910. It was from 1893 to 1910. So we came in and looked, and it was this big, huge, dirty. <laughs> room with no windows and no Perfect. electricity and <laughs> boarded up windows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh and we decided it's to go perfect. for it. Yeah, yeah. 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 Exactly. We decided <laughs> if we were gonna make art and music in yeah. a serious way, this so is do exactly you live there also? There. Do you... So everything happens in that building. Yeah. yeah. We're we're looking at your yeah. music video Don't You Start while oh, we're yeah. talking about this because that has a lot of your graphic art in it, mm-hmm. your graphic animation. In yeah. It. It's, it's, yeah. How how did you do the grant Animation, if you don't mind me asking, it's painstaking. That, yeah. um, that was basically me just plunging into a thing wow. I knew nothing about and being like, I have this idea. And I did the first 30 seconds to kind of get Evan on board because mm-hmm. he's like, an animated music video sounds crazy and a screen printed animated one. And I was like, it's going to be so cool. It's going to be so cool. So I did the first 30 seconds. He's like, okay, you're right. That's going to be really cool. Ah. And um, and then after that, we're like, okay, now we have to keep doing, we have to finish this. And we got Bill Streeter involved with Lo-Fi, Estelle yeah. and um, Hydraulic Pictures and he helped us finish it with the, the shots, the live shots and the um, doing the screen printing shots yeah. and so that helps make it all one how many, what, cohesive what, thing. The video you did with Bill Streeter at uh, City Museum, mm-hmm. how many takes did that take to get that right? Two. Because of the Two. timing. Two. Really? The very That's... first time I went up and over and, and down, got lost. And they got they went for the queue and I was on the wrong stairwell. Oh, he was funny. in a plane on another floor. <laughs> and, you know, I look and like get to the chorus and I Where's Evan? And he's like, hey, lost, sorry, wrong turn. Now, what we're leading up to here, and we do have so many questions, they are doing live, performing live music at uh, Rhyme of the Ancient Mariner with Upstream Theater uh, a month from now, or about a month, April 10th about through the month. 19th, yeah. being around there. Yep. Tell us about that. How did that come about? Well, they um, they approached us. They said they had... They really liked our work, and they wanted to work with us on a theater production, and they had a few ideas. Uh, Patrick Seiler had approached us about it, and he 
said he'd love for us to do the music for one of their productions and we asked are you sure you know what we sound like we have loud drums and electric guitar and he's like yeah i've seen your show i like that we're like uh-huh. okay so as long as you know what we do then that's great and um so they got us involved and they they said they wanted us to do basically the kind of music we make but making n- making new songs for rhyme of the ancient mariner which has mm. no songs but is all yeah. poetry so we've been working on that too so wow i i you guys, do you what do you fight about? Do you fight about the music more than the art, or uh, <laughs> running out of time? I guess, yeah, yeah. <laughs> running out of time. That's what I was gonna say. I mean, does one get in the way of the other? Like, you get a bunch of bookings for the band, and then you don't have your work done in the yeah. in the graphic uh, department. I think that I think it's the I think the stresses come when we just have. 16 things to do in 12 hours, yeah. you know, yeah. where you just, sure. yeah. and who's going to do what. Uh, well, that's but, your fault, though. It's your fault that you have 16 <laughs> know, things to do in 12 yes hours. But do you that's, don't fight over whose idea is better or who's, uh, you know, musically? She's or, asking think, because we do that. Yeah, we, we, we just like, we think, that's fair. I think this is funny and he doesn't, you know. That and I'm right and she's yeah. wrong. Yeah. <laughs> we have a rule that we, we made ourselves in the practice space where if one of us has an idea that the other one is not sure about when we're arguing over an idea we're like we'll try it as sincerely as possible and you know and try our best and figure that what a good the best idea. one will prove itself and there was one where like i feel like yeah. it works either way like when was like obviously evan's gonna see that my part is better and i'm playing the part that i'm playing his part as good as i can you know that he wanted us to do and i just started cracking up because i was like oh my god yours is totally better like oh, this wow. is so That's much better than what i thought yeah. so i was like okay your yeah. part wins and like, your music right. you know it's just, just it's so much fun. Your music is fun music. Thank Would you. you say it is more a 60s throwback garage band type thing or a 80s new wave or a 90s grunge or all of the above? All of the above, I would say. That's uh, a plus plus a secret dash of musical theater. Ah, yes, yes. Yeah. good. Which we get to activate yeah. now yeah. in Prime yeah. of the Ancient Mariner. You gotta yeah. have yeah. that, good. Yeah. How did the Showtime Shameless thing happen, getting your music on that? Um, there are some folks we work with in New York who are making our music available for things. Um, hopefully there'll be more of that kind of stuff. We, uh, one of the actual facts about the music life right now is that, uh, you have to figure out how to make money doing it (laughs) if you want to keep doing it. And one of the ways is doing, is having your stuff placed in TV shows or advertisements or, Mm -hmm. or however it comes along. We are very, uh, very into having stuff in movies and TV shows because I feel like that's that's where art reinforces art, you know, um, to to make something work together. So, for us to have t- two uh, two pieces in Shameless, and I think there's a third one coming up, um, like April first or something like that, in Shameless. So, so we're excited about those, and we'd like to. You keep should those. be. Yeah. That Do you both cool. pursue that kind of thing, or is one more? I mean, yeah, who's the business mind? Is what she's asking. <laughs> I don't know that shows. one of us has the superior we business. We could use mind. a business mind. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we try to hire business minds. Right. Instead. Most yeah. artists do. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> and what Sleepy Kitty? Where did the name come from? It came from adorable cats on the internet. <laughs> God knows where. Yeah, another those. cat day. Yeah, it was kind of a, a it was side a project. That, search it, engine thing. Like yeah. this is what people are going to be searching for, so we're going to be there first. Well, it's funny because like we, it's actually a really hard to Google band name, and we, um, but we, it kind of started as a side project, so we didn't really think about having a like a serious band name. Mm-hmm. We and we had ended up. Working on a, a project with a friend, and he had just shown us some adorable cat videos. So we're like, "Oh, this like, the, well, like, let's like, what should we name this file?" It's like, call it is this? "Sleepy Kitty." And we're, well, you know, kind of, it was the kind of the inside joke. And he's of the day. still your friend. Oh yeah, he's still my friend. And um, yeah, so the first piece we just called Sleepy Kitty, and then Evan and I kept working on stuff, and we're like, "We'll put it under Sleepy Kitty." And about Screen a year later, printing or music or whatever it was. Yes, yeah. yes. And about by, a year later, we were like, "We're Sleepy Kitty." Yes. Yeah. What's, yes. what's hey. funny is I somehow didn't know that the internet was full of cats yet. Oh, How did yeah. not, I was hey. thinking about it recently yeah. and I was like, that was 2007 or something. And oh, man. it seems We've like- just taken off. Yeah. It seems like we were all born with cats on the internet, but in fact, cats actually I control remember the internet. only realizing after that, like, oh, <clears throat> they really are everywhere. Yeah. Rhyme of the Ancient Mariner is April 10th through the 19th at Cransburg mm-hmm. Arts Center in yeah. Grand Center. Go right. to upstreamtheater.org yep. for information and for tickets. There's eight shows. Uh, two matinees and there's a 10th, 11th, and 12th and the 16th through the 19th. So 
Um, it's going to be a really exciting show with three actors and then the two of us writing the music and performing the music. It sounds great. I can't wait to see it. Paige and Evan, thank you both for joining us. Yeah, thank you so much. And thank you to Abusi Michelli Insurance. This segment is made possible through Abusi Michelli Insurance, continuously working to provide the individual coverage you require. They also handle commercial life and health insurance. Contact Tina Michelli at 314-832-6667. 